That was great for you. <laughs> it was great for you too. <laughs> this is your progression. This is, Rabia sent me this progression. I said, can you two play on this? I'm like, you can play on this. Yeah, I sent it going, this is a peak, this is a peak chord progression, so. It's cool, it man. Out. It sounds wonderful. I mean, but you still, you know, the fact is that you kind of go. That you try to come up with different things. Yeah. It's what, you know, who, that's, that's, um, hats off. Anyway, welcome here <laughs> to Anderson's TV. I've got the pleasure of having the lovely Rabia back in the yes. studio. It's lovely to be here. Bit. It's great, isn't it? And we are looking at something that I saw at NAMM. Oh yeah, I don't know if you saw it at NAMM as well. 2020. I didn't see these at NAMM. I'm kind of gutted I didn't because they're really good. I mean, check these out. So these are the new uh, Ebiphone. So you must have seen, and if you haven't, Ebiphone has brought out a massive uh, update and of the whole range. Right, okay. Um, our man Al John has, has, is now the product manager and he's been in there and he's just, they've, they've really signed headstocks. They've, we were going to play some other um, guitars later on, so the Les Pauls, mm. you know, they changed logos, they changed loads, tons of stuff. Um, so this, this is the... They're now in line with Gibson, like with the modern series and the original right. series and that kind so of stuff. so they're just aligning everything more. So they align everything up, so they, so people like, you know, you've got a Gibson here and then you've got an Epiphone, you've got a Gibson and an Epiphone, Gibson right. and Epiphone, apart from putting uh, Gibson on the headstock, right. you know, which is the next, could be the <laughs> next thing, who knows. But Al John's done an amazing job and these are the uh, Uptown Cat with a K. Uptown Cat. Uptown Cat That's with a K. That's a great K. name for a series of guitar. Uptown Cat, what's it? Uptown Cat, what? Guitar. Uptown Cat, what's it? Uptown Cat, what? So these come in, um, in four different colours. Comes in the red. That's my favourite. This is my favourite with the gold Ooh. on the back. Check that out. With the gold hardware, gold back and sides, and then there's just the red on the top. Oh man. You got the blue, you got a green, and then you got a gold. What I like about this blue is there's a I know I don't think it's necessarily pearlescent, but there's ever so slightly different sort of almost a bit of a green comes through depending on which way you shine the light it's like the nebula yeah it's really really nice yeah um they do nail these uh, spark anything sparkly these days yeah. i think sort of metallic just pops makes the guitar pop yeah and the gold hardware of course it's kind of you were saying earlier and i agree that it's kind of epiphone's answer to the kind of gretsch line of stuff see that that's might be the next video we have to do at some point is to compare this uh, to one of the new um, Gretz guitars. So, well, I think that's great. Yeah. I think it's really good to do that. Um, yeah, because that's what people want. I mean, the price point of these is about 500 quid. I mean, which could be a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but about 500 quid. Well worth it for the money, though. Absolutely. Like, in terms of what you get. Yeah. So you get ebony fingerboard, you yeah. get mahogany neck, mm -hmm. you get the five ply, so uh, Mabel and Poplar. Okay. In the, in the five ply. It's a cinder block guitar here. Yeah. It's got mini humbuggers in them. So uh, These are the pro buckers, aren't they, as well? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. So they're very kind of vintage sounding. We'll try some pain in a minute. Yeah. Pa -pa. Puffy. And then, you know, you get... Puffy. You know, the casino, I love that. Yeah, the casino um, Puffy. logo Everything play or whatever yeah. you call it. And then um, the new headstock shape, Grover Tuners. Yeah, Grover Tuners. And then you've got the layout, which is, you got the trapeze. But then the, this layout here is very familiar to those of you who know Gretsch. Yep. You'll have one volume for one. Yes. You have a master, master volume overall. Mm -hmm. Then you have a volume for each and then a tone. And we did, me and Lee did a, Lee and I did a video uh, on some of the um, new Streamline and some of the new electromagic guitars. Mm. And he was like, I don't get why people would have a normal thing. And I'm going, yes, but because yeah, you, you can... You get your just, blends. You get, exactly. Yeah. Get your blends and then control it all as one. And he said, 99% of people will use everything at full. It's like a subbing like, mixer for your pickups. There you go. So, um, that's kind of the guitars in a nut show. But for 500 quid, man, come on. A Center block, you're going to get lovely sustain, it's going to sound great, unplugged, ebony boards. Are these nickel frets, yeah? Are they nickel? I would suspect they're nickel. Yeah, they look nickel. Yeah, they look nickel. Handcrafted in China. Far um, Eastern made. F yeah. You're getting a lot. And to be honest, I, it's what a look at. And they play good, too. They good. play great. Yeah. I mean, they've got slightly rolled fingerboard, I'd say yeah. no sharp fretches at all. No. Fretches. Is that a word? Fredges. Fredges. No sharp fredges. It's what it's going to be now. Hashtag fredges. <laughs> when you're you checking fretboard edges, how are the fredges? Oh, the, it's, are the fredges okay? Yeah. They're very boucher. 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 Yeah. Boucher. 
Let's have some uh, tones, uh, Revere. Okay. Bushi, Masala. Okay. We're going. <laughs> I'm running the uh, the Victory VC35, the copper, into its matching cab, and we'll start on the bridge pickup at, in the front. Literally nothing. So let's have a listen. <laughs> It certainly wants to go, doesn't it? Yeah, you can hear that the this the, they are vintage output, but at the same time they got a bit of they got a lovely chime to them. And then neck. I thought you were going to troll Lee there. For oh, a moment. And it's okay now to troll Lee with that Nick. Yeah. Uh, as, as you'll see in some videos coming out now, we would like you to play that lick, do a little video, and upload it to his Facebook um, page. I'm going to do. The... This is my impression. I'm going to. I'm entering right now. Here we go. Here we go. That's, it's that's my good, impression of Lee. It's a good, uh, it's a, it's, it's a good entrance. Because he goes. I, I love mean, we you, just, Lee. we just did the, we just, that's, we just did the lick. So, but you can troll him as much as you like. We're not going to. Um, Do you know Lee's got his own lick? Because everyone goes. Lee's is. Yeah, he got, he's got a, he's got the Lee lick. He does. He's right. got the league. The league. The league. <laughs> We're going way off piece here, right? So, yeah. so back to it. So that was all the sound of the pickups. I'm just going to put a little bit of gain in the front so you can hear what happens with, with the, the very thing. Right. <laughs> oh god, I almost fell over. So that's, that's really good. Yeah, and it plays great. And the thing is, got a like, it's got a bit of a fight in it, but it's a good fight. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm when I, I use the word fight, I mean, you know, you can't just go like you could on a wizard neck or whatever. No, no, like, no. It's Even about it's twelve. It's twelve uh, radius. It's twelve. Yeah. For, so it's quite flat. So it's like in this pool. Um, I think. I think they put um, tens on here. You know. Yeah. Excuse me. And I've really liked that because we talk, or I, I, it's always my thing, like, oh, they put nines on it. I know there's been a whole big thing going on on, on YouTube about string gauge and all that sort of stuff. And I, I don't think necessarily that the sound, overall sound of different st string gauges is, is enough to, for you to go, oh, that might need a bit more bass or, or whatever. You know, it's, it's so slightly that in a mix of a band, you'll hardly hear it. So for me, yeah. it's more what. What do you feel most comfortable with? I do agree, particularly in you know concert pitch tunings. Yeah, you know when you get down baritone, and I understand that the string's way thicker, so it gets bassier. But yes, but is it though? Nines, tens, yes, eights. but this is the whole debate that's going on at the moment. Is that is it? Is it different? Do you need? You know, people are starting to go, oh, I need eight gauge strings, and I'm just going to play eight because it doesn't sound any different. But I like the slinkiness of it. I kind of agree. I mean, I I've never really considered but a can't. nine sounding different from a ten. No, that's what I'm saying. It doesn't necessarily sound different, but mm. people are saying it sounds different. Well, but uh, but I, it's more of a feel. Anyway, you know what? Doesn't matter. We are here for the uptown cat funky what? <laughs> uptown cat funky what? <laughs> uh, so let's try to just do that blend thing, which I like so much. It's just great, so...
So, I, I mean, you can do that on it, you could play that, you could probably do like a... That was, that was the uh, double into the uh, into the boost side of the day and into the revival drive compact. What an absolutely great tone! That was a great tone, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into the DP40. Uh, so I mean, there's not much else to say about these. They look gorgeous. They play great. And yes, there are. I, I think and there's ten quid. On here. About five hundred between between maybe you know something around somewhere around five hundred. Look at the the, the links below because they're not. They're just come in. To be honest. If I was looking for a semi-hollow, kind of, like, really nice, affordable, bit different from what you normally see out on the market, yeah. I'd absolutely bag one of these. Absolutely. And here's the different colours on the screen right now. So you can see the emerald green and the uh, gold. Because they don't look much similar to anything else I've seen. And I'll tell you what, this, uh, an, an, a, the Gretz um, Electromatic in the same, is about £719. So these are good on the old uh, yeah. sort of price point, you know. But we should shoot them out at some point, but Epiphone, you are killing it. Yeah, to be 2020, honest. 2020, man. Grabbing guitars straight out of the boxes and bags and just jamming, doing this video, it's like, yeah, it's a great guitar. What yeah. can you say? What can you say? So, it looks yeah. great, it feels great. Who doesn't like gold hardware? Uptown Cap Funky Collection. what? I said Uptown Funk. <laughs> I'm Pete. I'm Rabia. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> that last jump was hilarious. <laughs> like, what am I doing? <laughs> Guitar, there was no sustain on my sound. I was just like, I can't play lead on this. No, it is. It, it was.